tell us about Carol? your new book, The Reluctant Wreck. Uh, well, of course, it's a love story. And my heroine is a very clever, very ambitious young woman called Maurice Merrick, who's studying journalism. But she's also very beautiful. And she gets the opportunity to do some modeling. She enters that world rather reluctantly because she's really not interested in celebrity. But when she goes to her first gig, she meets Cal McCoy, a great star of Aussie Rules Football. Mm -hmm. And the attraction is mutual and instant. Uh huh. Tell us a little bit about Cal because I think she assumes he's going to be what famous, empty, all strut and muscle, all strut yep. and muscle, exactly. Yep. Um, and and well, that that's what she thinks. She thinks that you know football players, it's all about money for nothing and the chicks for free. She sees that he has a great following of female fans, and she's determined not to become one of them. And she also knows that he has a history whereby he's surrounded by beautiful women, a lot of them high profile, and she's not at all interested in becoming another celebrity wag, although it's very clear that he's as interested in her as she is in him. Uh -huh. It's so fascinating listening to someone with such a strong Irish accent <laughs> talking about footy. How ah, did right. that come about? So you uh, moved here and what, fell yes. in love with the game? Or? Uh, no, I moved here over 30 years ago and didn't fall in love with the game until until I think it was 2005 when a friend bought me tickets to the MCG. Now, at that point, I'd never either played in a single game of any sport or attended any sport, but I sat there and it was the time when the Southern Stand was being renovated. And I sat in this great Colosseum and looked out over the city and I thought, this is a place of drama and spectacle and I want to be here again. So I, I did go again and uh, Got a wee bit interested in what was happening on the field. Uh, footy is full of interest and excitement and it demands skill and courage. And it's full of heroism. So I thought, this is the ideal context for a romance. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. And is it true that Cal might be based loosely on someone who's rather famous in AFL? Nathan Buckley is an inspiring man, to say the least, and he inspires men. He's, he, men are as much in love with Nathan Buckley as women are because he is the ultimate hero. You know, he, he drives himself, and Cal's rather like that. He, Cal has just been appointed captain of Australia's most successful, most celebrated football club. And as such, he carries the aspirations of its many hundreds of thousands of fans. And he's absolutely determined to win a premiership. And he has a special reason for wanting to win it this year, but we don't discover that, nor is Maurice, until later in the book. So he's completely focused on his footy, and he really can't afford the distraction of someone as gorgeous as Maurice. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you had fun writing it, did you? I had the best fun ever. And I was able to authentically immerse myself in the footy forums, like Big Footy and Nick's Collingwood, which are great fun, um, and, and pretend that I was working on the book. And, you know, garner more information about footy as I went. Because the kinds of men who are fascinated by footy, but who also write in those forums, they're often very articulate, very knowledgeable, and men are very witty in a way that women aren't. Mm -hmm. So it's a fascinating world. And what drew you to the world of romance writing? You're a journalist by trade, is that right? Yeah, freelance writer. Not so much a journalist as a story writer, mm -hmm. really. Um, I think romance is all about enchantment. And women today, we've come... We've advanced to a certain degree. Now we have the privilege of working harder and turning out kids who are, have got to be gifted and multi-talented. And, and we've got to be, you know, a goddess in the bedroom and, and, you know, Nigella Lawson in the kitchen. All of those pressures are on us. And life can be very difficult and very grim. And romance is all about having a holiday from that. It's all about enchantment. And... Um, the footy context also adds certain physicality and, and, and its own kind of romance. So it seemed to me that the two came together very nicely. Uh -huh. um, life outside, writing romance, writing for a living. 
Uh, I lead a very quiet life, I'm delighted to say, you know, after growing up in Belfast. I can't believe it. No, it's, it's absolutely true. I like more than anything reading. You know, if, if, if you were to divide my life into what I've done more than anything, it's been reading, talking, especially if there's coffee and chocolate involved, um, sitting in the garden. I like to be with my chickens. You've uh, got chickens? Yes. Uh, we, we've always had silkies and bantams, and recently we rescued half a dozen um, former battery hens. And they are the most delightful little creatures, each with their own personality. So I love spending time with them. And of course, um, I like, like to spend a bit of time on Twitter. Uh -huh. And I love going to the footy. Uh -huh. And complete trivia, your star sign, and are you typical? Um, I don't know that I believe in um, astrology. Uh, I'm a Virgo, but I'll just tell you one story that maybe demonstrates that I might be a finickety perfectionist Virgo. Uh, I was out one day with a group of work colleagues shopping for a briefcase, and we'd been to every leather goods shop in town, and I didn't find what I wanted. And we got to the last one, and we got down to the last briefcase, and none of them were suitable. And the shop assistant said to me, are you a Virgo or something? And my colleagues all chorused, yes, she is. And we left empty handed. Lovely, lovely to meet you, Mary. Thanks. Pleasure.